Hey there humans and welcome back to the channel. A couple uh, weeks ago I told my girlfriend I was gonna head to Virginia and get in a hike and if those of you who don't know I live in uh, western New York and we just come out of a particularly crappy cold winter and uh, she said you're going to Virginia without me? I don't think so. Says to her all right great I have a uh, I have an extra backpack and some gear and uh, we'll get you all hooked up and she said uh, oh hell no I I'm not going camping and uh, so she drove me out here dropped me off it's about an eight hour drive from the house and she's gonna go enjoy some two-star accommodations and look for the best budget margaritas Virginia has to offer so what is the point of all this well pretty psyched to say that uh, I am here in Virginia to do the Virginia Triple Crown which uh, is a loop trail that has three pretty popular uh, sites the uh, the first is going to be McAfee Knob which is extremely well known it's you'll see this thing in a lot of pictures and some movies and then uh, Tinker's Cliffs and uh, the last is going to be Devil's Tooth and it's about uh, I don't know 35 to 38 mile loop it'll be roughly three days two nights and uh, as far as weather today's absolutely gorgeous it's gonna be in the 80s so I'm gonna be cooking today and then tomorrow it drops about 20 degrees and there's some scattered rain in the forecast and then the last day is uh, supposed to be in the mid 60s and uh, completely clear which is absolutely gorgeous hiking weather so uh, here's hoping the weather stays pretty close to that um, I am parked at the McAfee knob parking area and uh, the loop will finish right here and we start off by crossing a road kind of a busy road and uh, and really really cool I have never set foot on the Appalachian Trail and uh, I'm about to change that right now so uh, Here's hoping we get a lot of great views and uh, have a really good hike. And uh, we'll be talking to you. The entire 2000 plus Appalachian Trail is marked with white blazes so a good chunk of this hike is on the Appalachian Trail and then we veer off and take an Andy Lane Trail and uh, I forget the other trail names but we don't do the whole thing on the Appalachian Trail so now some people may be wondering where my brother is and uh, Unfortunately, he had family obligations, and uh, I know he'd absolutely be dying to be here. Um, and honestly, I'm only a couple miles in and I miss him. It's definitely, I, I do hike a lot alone, but stuff like this is most definitely better shared. So this is a shout out to my brother, and uh, maybe we can come back here and do it together, but we're definitely going to do some hikes this summer together and uh, I think the videos are better with him in them so uh, if you're tuning into this just to see him sorry about your luck go watch the go watch the Devil's Path video you basically get to stare at his butt through the whole video all right onward
Yeah. All right, back out on the trail. Uh, I ended up staying a little longer than I planned on. Uh, it's, I was only up here with people for maybe 10, 15 minutes tops, and then everybody left. And I had the whole, whole damn McAfee knob all to myself. So I, I hung out and took advantage of it, got some water, a little snack. I really could easily have just spent the rest of the day up there. But I still got some miles to make up. And uh, I don't want to get into camp real late. I've played that game before. <clears throat> Overall, there's not a lot of people uh, out here. Probably saw maybe 20 or so total people that were just all day hikers uh, going up to McAfee. I haven't run into anybody yet that said they're uh, pushing through. I do know there's AT through hikers to this point on their on their uh, hike. So certainly not impossible to run into somebody, but maybe between the 80 degree weather and uh, it's a Monday, maybe it's just uh, kind of a perfect storm for not seeing a lot of people, which is pretty much okay with me. Now, uh, at least for next, I think two miles maybe, it's just a lot of going downhill and I think there's a bunch of switchbacks coming up. But uh, try to keep track of anything worthwhile and uh, catch you guys in a bit. I'm just going to take a moment here to uh, point out that there is some technical spots on this trail. Uh, probably the last two miles, it's been a mix of not bad and uh, rocks the size of baseballs up to the size of bowling balls that really seem to serve no purpose other than to break an ankle. 
and then uh, this spot here I guess I wouldn't want to be out here if it was real wet or snowy because I don't know I don't think this video can show how, uh, how vertical this is this is pretty pretty much down and uh, the trail is pretty much up these rocks so makes for makes for a cool hike makes for a cool video but makes for a tired Jason uh, still pretty warm uh, but the the breeze on this ridge is really really good so between stalling going up more and just enjoying this breeze I'm talking to the camera yep okay I'm uh, I'm gonna pretend like I'm going but I'm really just gonna turn the camera off and then uh, stay here for like another 20 minutes so yeah back at it I'm not gonna lie last three miles to uh, Tinker Cliffs is absolutely kicking my ass so there's no water from I don't know about the three mile mark up and uh, I'm on my last uh, third of a liter so there is water at the campsite uh, so I have to make it there this is this hill is tough. We watch these YouTubers do this hike, and no one even mentioned this little section. So I can admit that uh, I'm not in the best shape, but I'll be the guy that tells you that this is gets pretty physical pretty quickly. Probably wouldn't have been so bad if it hadn't been so hot today. Uh, definitely went through more water because of the heat. But that's not really an excuse. Uh, this last climb is tough. So, probably won't hang out at Tinker Cliff very long because now I'm racing against the clock. Get to the, uh, get to the campsite. I, uh, I have seen some through hikers come through and that was, was a pretty logical place for them to camp. So, I don't want to get in there late and be waking people up. So now it's just... Uh, muscle through it because it's a haul. Uh, we'll see you somewhere between here and there.
campsite. So far we got one hiker up at the shelter. And uh, I believe him be seem friendly enough to hi. Over there's my camp spot. Here's my water, which I might drink this whole damn river dry. And then uh, obviously gonna talk to the camera, so if the kid can hear me up there, he'll think I'm crazy. All right, let's go set up camp. What's for dinner? Seems like people like knowing what uh, what we eat out in the back country. Uh, so I'll show you what I got, but I'm not gonna record cooking it because I've done that a million times. You've seen it a million times, but I'll show you real quick what we got to eat. We've got a Nor Rice Side Chicken flavored rice. A chunk light tuna. This one's in water. I probably should have got the one in oil. It's a few extra calories. And then I uh, guess to make up for those calories, got some mayonnaise packets. Let's throw it all together. And that will be dinner tonight. May not look the greatest, but I'm hungry. I guarantee it's wonderful. It's almost like a really, really good cat food. Perfect. Uh, oh, it's eight o'clock. So, uh, I'm, I've got the bed all set up. I spared everybody that. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, talk, to, uh, talk to the guy up in the shelter. He's a AT through hiker. I didn't catch his name. He didn't offer, so I didn't ask. That's kind of how I am. But um, he's probably in his mid 20s and uh, real friendly. And uh, he's made it this far, so he's doing all right. I think this is around 700 miles into the AT. So he made it through the Smoky Mountains. It's pretty good. Other than that, uh, starting to get dark now. He mentioned that he heard we could get a, a rainstorm tonight now my weather says the rain comes tomorrow so I'm hoping my weather's right um, I'd like to at least get the tent packed up before before it rains for a lot of different reasons I'd like that but um yeah I'm just settling in uh, playing Candy Crush on my phone and waiting to drift off into slumberland I think I'll set the alarm for 5 or 6 a.m. we'll see what inspires me but tomorrow's a long day uh, it's the longest day of the three it's got the most miles to cover and I gotta cover it without uh, uh, so quite a few miles of it is without water so I'm gonna have to pack out water so uh, but I don't think there's that much elevation tomorrow. Of course, I didn't think that today, and I was wrong. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if, uh, if I wake up for some reason, I'll record again. Otherwise, I'll just assume this is it for the night. I'll see you all in the morning. Night. Well, good morning, humans. It's about uh, 6.30. Alarm went off at 5.30, and uh, it was still pretty dark, and I was pretty tired, so <sighs> slept till, uh, yeah, 6.30 now. Time to go uh, retrieve breakfast. I didn't, uh, I didn't mention it last night, but uh, the um, food's in a bear box. So there's a few ways you take care of your food to uh, keep critters out of it. This particular campsite has a bear box. I didn't bring it up because it's right up next to the shelter and I didn't want to bother the 
guy up there chilling out but I'll bring the camera up there and I'll show you a bear box all right so there is the shelter the AT shelter three-sided lean-to pretty common out here well most of them look like some of them are a little bigger a little fancier enclosed some of them have lofts but that's typical I don't know how many of them have bear boxes uh, it's a pretty cool feature it's better than hanging your food which is one of the ways you keep critters out of your food hang it from a tree which I'll probably be doing tonight but yeah, get up in here and then there's our boot, boot bag I know one thing this damn box must have been fun dragging out here in the middle of nowhere let's go make breakfast got the water boiled for coffee and uh, this morning we're gonna have death wish coffee instant coffee I've done a review on this before it supposedly has the most caffeine that of any instant coffee I could probably use the get up and go this morning um, as far as taste it's it's all right um, but it'll do the job my uh, campmate the AT through hiker he uh, he's off and running already so we're just here by ourselves at the moment and uh, breakfast was leftover uh, cat food from yesterday I, I didn't eat it all so it's kind of convenient it was ready to go and uh, I thought maybe I'd have some oatmeal but after eating the leftovers I'm really not very hungry so maybe I'll plan on stop actually stopping and eating a lunch which I rarely do in the middle of a hike but uh We'll see about that. Today is going to be kind of a, a long, boring day, and I mean long. There's about anywhere from like the, from down here where I'm at to where I got to get. I think is like 16 miles, and uh, like 12 or 13 of it is dry, no water. So we'll have to pack out water, and uh, so I really want to just get this coffee down and get moving. Um, one of the problems with yesterday, I think, is I started late and I just had this constant urge to rush because I didn't want to get to camp so late. And I made it with plenty of time, but, you know, it's hard to really tell. Sometimes it's really hard to gauge. My GPS wasn't really working real well. Um, so let's get out there and uh, get moving this way. Uh, when I feel like I got to stop, I'll just stop. And uh, there won't be such a, a sense of urgency today. All right, we'll see ya.
pretty self-explanatory. We are here and we are going to be cutting across the Catawba Valley Trail and connecting to the North Mountain Trail. And we are going to follow that all the way down. Uh, somewhere in here where we're going to camp. And yeah, let's see here, North Mountain Trail, 13.2 miles. And uh, supposedly there's no water on this. So I'm glad I got my water where I did. Um, maybe I'll run into some water, but supposedly it ain't out here. Uh, this, this hike goes along a ridge. And uh, from what I've seen and heard, there's not a lot of views, so I don't know how much video I'll get of it. I'm running out of battery power, and I'd rather not uh, waste it on just dirt trail. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, it's about 10.30 right now. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I've, I've paced myself well so far, so hopefully I can keep that up. So I made it up to the ridge line, up to uh, North Mountain Trail, and uh, I won't sugarcoat it. It's a pretty good hike up here. Basically, you get off the Andy Lane Trail, you go across the parking lot, across the road, and then uh, get under the Catawba Trail, and then it really just goes up, 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 up. I don't know. I really don't know how high up we are, but we're definitely up here a ways. Um, and then since the last time I talked to you, the weather started to move in. I, uh, I don't know how well you can see off in the distance there. Those are some gray clouds. And that's how weather is in the mountains. One minute sweating under the sun, and the next minute it's pouring on you. It's got a really nice breeze up here and I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. It's drying off the sweat from crawling up that mountain. And uh, if it starts to pour, it might get a little chilly. I do, I got my rain stuff, whether I want to put it on, it's still warm. And if you know anything about rain gear, you wear it and, and it's warm, you just sweat. So I'd almost rather be wet from rain than sweat. But we've got, pretty solid hike ahead of us I've got about three liters of water to do I don't know whatever it is now 12 13 miles and so that's like a liter for every five miles and uh, I don't think that's recommended but it's what I have that'll be all right so time to get moving I hope uh, I hope this ridge trail doesn't have too many more ups because I think I've put in my my total ups for the day. Some flat and maybe even a couple downs would be perfectly okay with me. All right, I'll, uh, I'll check back in, in a minute and uh, who knows, maybe I'll be right in the middle of a freaking thunderstorm on top of a giant ridge. That'll be awesome. came down pretty good for about two minutes three minutes maybe and uh it did feel good at first it's some cold rain it's coming from way up there and uh but the it's really the wind i had to put the i had to put the uh, rain jacket on because you are right on the knife's edge up here on this ridge and it's exposed in both directions and uh it's kind of just down on either side and uh, so the wind's just howling through here. It actually feels good, um, especially with the jacket on. I think that makes it just about perfect. I hope this keeps up for a little while. I, I could deal with this.
Well, that's that. It's times like these I really envy you at home, sitting in your favorite chair in front of your TV or computer screen. What was uh, seven or eight minutes for you was all day for me. So thank you for toughing out your seven or eight minutes. Whatever, let's go find a place to camp. We are finally to camp after a pretty long day and uh, I already picked out a spot and grabbed some water. So we'll head over there and uh, I'll get the camp set up, make my dinner and all that. I'm not gonna record all that. I'm running out of battery power. So I don't wanna waste battery on stuff that's been done a million times. But uh, I'm sure I'll tune back in a little bit before I hit the hay. So it's a long day, one heck of a day. I am betting you think I forgot, and I did not. Today is my girlfriend's birthday, and with this wind, um, I was having a hard time baking the cake and the candles wouldn't light. So, the best I can do is a really beat up protein bar with one bite out of it because I was hungry. And, uh, in a lighter that probably will not stay lit. Well, there it goes. Cap. Ooh, it's hot. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Debbie. Happy birthday to you. Make your wish. Happy birthday, honey. Ah, oh, cramp. I'm dying here. It's delicious. Let me save you a bite. All right, I'm about to hit the hay, so I'll do a quick summary. Uh, today's hike was really just exercise. Uh, really wasn't, didn't have the greatest views. Um, no water on a 13, 14, 15 mile hike at elevation open to the elements um so you got to carry extra water it was just a really long uncomfortable walk uh but if you're going to come do the loop it's part of it um that kind of screwed up uh, my battery pack that charges all my electronics is dead and it should have made it through the whole trip easy so i think what happened was is i fell asleep with my phone plugged into it last night and uh the phone just drained it um, it's an old phone I I think that's what happened but um so that's kind of a problem for tomorrow because that's that's my navigation I do have a plan uh, my girlfriend picks me up tomorrow at the drop site at 3 so got to be there at 3 or as close to it so I don't put her in a panic and uh, and the other thing, I can run into a few people today that tried to make me nervous about this uh, dragon's tooth climb, but I don't know. I've seen enough on YouTube to think I should be fine. Play it by ear. If I don't like it, then I won't climb it, but I, I don't think it'll be an issue. <laughs> it's early-ish um, for bed, but I don't really got anything left to do, so... I think I'll probably toss and turn most of the night. The wind quit blowing and the skies are opening up. It's supposed to be in the mid 60s and sunny tomorrow. So at least uh, at least the weather looks good for tomorrow. And uh, hopefully my tent now won't blow over. Um, there's probably, I don't know, there's half a dozen people camping around me, but not right next to me. I, I took the best spot in the worst neighborhood so to speak there's not a lot of good spots around me to set up camp so i've seen people walk by look in here and keep on moving maybe that was a was a good move on my part 
But anyways, I'm uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I I'm thinking when I do fall asleep, it'll be sound asleep. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, no phone to wake me up in the morning, but I really don't think that's gonna be a problem. All right, folks. Good night. Well, good morning, humans. So I hope you slept as well as I did and woke up to chirping birds and the in the breeze in the trees uh it uh the wind picked up last night shortly after i had my last video and it really never let up um and the uh, temperature pl kind of plummeted i have no idea what it is but it's chilly uh so i've been hauling around cold weather gear through this whole trip and it's basically been dead weight because it's been so warm out but um it justified itself last night I'm wearing out pretty much everything I own right now but I'm comfortable so no big deal so we got to go retrieve our food and coffee so yesterday we had um <clears throat> a bear box to utilize which was super convenient and uh I'd advocate for every campsite having a bear box, but I don't know how feasible that is. But uh, so I had to go with method two, and there's other methods, but I'm gonna skip trying to explain all those. And uh, method two for me was, hopefully you can see that okay, it's still kind of dark out, but you hang, hang your food from a tree. And I guess you're outsmarting the bears with that. Um, there's multiple ways to hang your food. Uh, I went with the CDT method. And uh, I'm not going to go through all the different ways to hang. Uh, there's some really good tutorial videos on YouTube if you want to. If you want to learn all the different ways to hang your food. But anyways... My food's hanging. I was more worried about the wind uh, finding a way to bring it down than any critters getting a hold of it. And there are a bunch of uh, basic standards of um, how high up it should be, how far away from the tree it should be while it's hanging, how low from the tree it should be hanging, how far away from camp it should be. Um, and I don't think I quite have it as far away from the tree as they recommend, but for me, it was just getting the food away from my camp. That way, if something was trying to sniff it out, it wasn't, you know, sniffing right next to my head where my food might be. So I'm going to get my food down. I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to try and get this show on the road quickly today. So I, I do kind of hope because I got to climb that that dragon's tooth this wind dies down a little bit but it's supposed to be in the 60s and sunny which i'm all about that all right catch you later all right humans i am hydrated caffeinated and the septic tanks emptied so it is time to get uh get on the trail and get the dragon's tooth and uh speaking to the former i just walked about a half a mile round trip completely out of my way to use an outhouse as opposed to the alternative and totally worth it uh, and in case you're wondering i don't look at a mirror the whole time i'm out here i have no idea what i look like so if i'm a hot mess uh i don't know it until i edit the video i can tell you after uh, a couple days out here i smell like roadkill not not the good kind either that mid-july roadkill but we're on the home stretch i think today's like maybe a 10 mile day and uh we'll see how tough that uh dragon's tooth climb is it's dry it's sunny the wind died down so I'm, I'm hoping it's not more than I can tackle. <laughs> All right, we'll see when we get there.
Well, I think I've come up on the uh, most technical part of this, so I uh, dish my pack. I think I'd be all right getting up this with the pack, but I really don't want to come back down it with the pack. So leave the pack down here and uh, I think I'll be all right. Uh, we'll see how much of this I can climb using the camera. If, uh, if I'm not feeling good about it, I'll put the camera away. But uh, the hell, here we go. One thing I know about these GoPros, they don't pick up sound for crap, but they pick up me wheezing and trying to breathe no matter what. Let's see, I really want to film this whole thing for you. It's only getting harder for me here. Let's see, see how we do. put cheater bars in I'm gonna use the cheater bars
Uh, that looks like the hardest part of it. I'm gonna save my battery for the top. Well, this is it. I suppose this is as much a dragon's tooth as I've ever seen. Let's see here. Well, I'm not gonna get way out there. It's uh, looks like an un uncomfortable trip to the ground. But pretty darn good view. Like everything else around here, going to put in a little work and a little effort, but uh, some pretty big payoffs. I'm up here, so I'll take a little walk around it. Who knows if I'll ever be back up here again. I am not overly adventurous, so I'm not, uh, not doing any real rock climbing. A little bit of rock hopping, I suppose. Oh, what do we got here? I think that's the Shenandoah Valley, but could be wrong. I didn't do a lot of studying up on my geography before I came out here. I mean, you could easily climb these rocks, get up there, get a good look, but that's not me. This, this is as far as I'll go. I'll tell you, as bad as the heat was on day one, I'm lucky I left when I did because yesterday with the rain, there weren't very many good views of these valleys. It was all foggy and cloudy. And uh, then today, I got some nice cool weather for hiking and wide open skies for views so as bad as the heat was on day one it made for better views Amazing. Oh, absolutely amazing. A lot of the people who watch my videos aren't hikers. Uh, so, you know, they kind of just live slightly vicarious through me. And uh, it's a lot of work sometimes, but I'm happy to do it. And, uh, certainly hope you're enjoying this as much as I am so far. I could stay up here a lot longer, but I got a deadline to hit, so time to get moving.
the elevation is on this, it felt like forever. Um, there's a good view out there, but it's behind those trees. I think if my really bad paper map is even remotely correct, it's mostly downhill to the parking lot from here. I do have a chance of making my three o'clock deadline. I got about an hour and a half to, to cover, I don't know, a little over two miles. But I'm not super fast going downhill, so we'll see how that rolls. We're gonna see it at the end of this shortly. I just wanna go on record and say day three is no joke. It's not a walk in the park. I, uh, I probably watched like four YouTube videos on this hike and no one really talks about day three so I'm gonna it's tough you start right out at the dragon's tooth and that is that's all leg muscles and uh, Catawba Mountain it's it's a real deal for the home stretch so I don't know if all those other hikers are just really that much better than me, which they probably are, and I'm okay with that. I'm here for the real people. I'm here for the knuckleheads like me who are sitting around going, yeah, I'm, I'm an all right hiker. We'll go give it a go. Come give it a go, but I'm not gonna make light of it. It's a workout. Uh, come on and do it, but be prepared. All right, humans, by the numbers, miles, like 38 and a half miles, elevation, 8,200 plus uh, of elevation. It's a lot of climbing. Um, it, it was it was a little more difficult than I thought, but you know it was a great time. Uh, so much fun. Uh, running into the AT through hikers and just even the day hikers that were as excited as I was to just be out there doing it. So you want to do it, go do it. It's, um, it is physical and you got to do some planning and get some good maps. I'll tell you that. Uh, for those of you who have no intentions of doing this, that's cool. I know my, my camera won't capture those big sweeping views like they should. And there's no way I can have you feel the wind blow on your face and feel your legs burn and have those giant cold raindrops hit you. Um, but hopefully I can put this video together in a way that does it justice and hopefully that you'll enjoy it. Because if you just sat here and watched this whole thing, um, thank you and hopefully it was a fun ride until next time blue fox hiking